What's going on guys? Welcome back. So we've taken a look at a number of different RG Ava kits, but the one thing that's kind of been missing from a lot of them is some really nice options in terms of weapons. And that is now finally solved with this new weapon tree available. It gives you a lot of awesome weapon options for your RG Ava kits or just a really nice model kit on itself. But it's the weapons tree here, and although it's basically just a glorified accessory, there's a lot to go over in today's video, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So because I've got an early release version of this, I don't have the actual box, so I don't know what that is gonna look like or how it's going to be officially packaged, but I can show you guys here what at least the runners look like, and then we'll take a look at what it looks like all built up. Here's what the manual is going to look like there, arming tree and progressive weapons there. Here on the back side is just like an illustration of how that's looking, and I guess just a kind of guide for the decals there, so you can see what that looks like front and back. Otherwise, in these first couple pages there, it's just going to be your parts list, and then you just get right into the construction of everything. It's pretty simple. Just put everything all together, put it all on the tree, and then there's a little bit about how all that works, how you can mount like the chainsaws onto the arms of an Ava, something like that. So we'll try to try out uh, as much of this as we can later. Here's a look at what the decal sheet looks like. All the caution striping, the nerve logos, and some of the little markings and everything on there. So a lot of cool stuff on there for your decals. Here's runner A, which you have four of, and they're just kind of stuck together here, but this is obviously parts for the base in dark brownish gray color. Here's runner B in the same color, just getting into some of the actual weapons parts. You can see how that very long sword looks on there. Runner C, a smaller runner, just looks like parts there mostly for the pistol. Runner D1 is another tiny little runner here, a couple pieces there in orange. Runner E is some parts here in a tan color. We've got two of this runner. Runner F is some more weapons parts in that dark gray color. Runner G is some more parts in orange, got two of those. Runner H is a few parts here in white. Runner I is some parts there in clear red, we've got two of those. Runner J is some parts here in molded silver for your blade edges and stuff. There's the piece for the chainsaw weapon and all that. And finally, runner K and runner L are just some more pieces in that dark gray color for all your weapons and everything, and that is it. So as you guys can see, for a weapon set, there's quite a lot of parts in there because we got a lot of weapons to build. So let me go ahead and get this tree all built up and we'll see how it looks. All right guys, so here is the weapon tree all put together and it's very awesome. There's a ton of detail there. There's not a lot of detail that's really brought out just with the plastic on its own. So I would definitely recommend, you know, if you're planning on painting it, definitely panel lining it and filling and all, painting and all the details and everything is gonna help quite a lot because there's a lot of detail there as this is made to go with the RG kits and RG kits are generally high in detail. But we've got a ton of weapon options here to go through and everything with this. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the different weapons we have loaded up. So first up, we have this spear, which has this very long handle there, and at the end you have this cool three-pointed tip, but you can swap that out for just this single one if you prefer. So that's just gonna look like that on there. Now, this is the only weapon that is not actually stored on the tower as it is, but you can store it on the tower just by removing this part here on the top, and you just omit that, and then you just stick this in there in its place, and that fits into there like that. So if you wanted to, you can have it like that. Honestly, I don't really like that, though. I just much prefer this piece here with the white piece and the little light there on the top. And one quick note about these lights, or just these little clear red parts on here that are meant to look like lights, is that some of them were tight, and then some of them were loose. If you have it so that it's a little bit loose, I'd recommend just with your knife on the peg that that clear part sticks onto, score it a little bit with your knife, so when you put the clear red part onto there, it's got more of a tighter grip on there and that way you make sure that none of those are gonna fall off and get lost on there for you. And then one other thing to note is that of course all of these can be rotated so you can rotate these at any point. So basically if you wanted to have like this part sticking out to the front, you just rotate this around. And also everything can be folded up. So it all folds up and there's a little hook there that locks it into place. You have to go through and make sure that there's like space for everything because obviously you're gonna have to rotate stuff around in order to get everything all folded up. But something like that. Anyway, you guys could do it in a different way to maybe make it look a little bit more pretty, but you get the idea. So let's go ahead, start off with our weapons here from the bottom. 
this first one just pulls out of there pretty simply. This is going to be the broadest sword and basically it seems like this is one that you're meant to have two of and you can see how this is been made in a certain way. So this is basically, if you have two of these, it makes the full length of that like what you see the mass production Ava is using in the end of Evangelion movie. That's basically what you could make with this, a version of that essentially. So you would need two of these sets unfortunately to be able to make the full double ended version of that. Next up, to get this long sword out, you have to kind of unclip that little orange hook there at the front, and this should then pull out of there. Pop that off from the side, there we go. So as you can see, it's basically just this very long sword here with an extra long handle as well. It does look very cool, I really love the design of this sword. Its total length is about 17 centimeters, which is pretty tall. And the next branch up here is basically accessory parts for the rifle, so going around here to the other side, here is the rifle, we'll take that out. That has a really cool design. Some nice color separation on there, some very nice details, and this can either be used just as it is, or you can customize it here with some of these parts. So, we've got this knife part, which can be used as a knife, or you can use it as a bayonet for the rifle. We've got this camera sight for it we'll use. We've got an extra handle and barrel. I should take that out first. That's our long barrel, sniper rifle barrel. Secondary handle, which slides out of there, and around on the other side, this part which we'll also use. Attaching this knife on here as a bayonet is really easy, it just slides into place and it's not on there so securely, it's kind of a little bit loose on there, but that's in there like that. You can also just slide your second handle onto the front of there and then you've just got that on there for a two-handed grip. Or you can turn this into your sniper rifle by adding this part here on the front like so and then sliding this barrel into place. You need to add your camera onto the top here and that's gonna look like that which is very cool definitely like that moving right along to the fan favorite the chainsaw that also just unlatches there at the front and you should just be able to slide that out of there and the chainsaw like with the long sword has this really long handle and it's just basically meant to just be held in the hand like that nothing actually moves anything on it but it does have some great detail and a very cool design. Next up, yet another sword, and this one is kind of a little bit more standard one, I guess. Should just pop out of there like that. So this one has a sheath, you can pull that out of there, and like I said, this is just kind of a little bit more standard length. It's not quite as long as the long one, and it's not as short as our just little dagger slash bayonet, kind of combat knife kind of thing anyway, but got a little orange bit there at the end that does look very nice. Next up, our missile launcher has a couple of different functions. It can just function as just a missile launcher as it does have articulation here on this. You can just remove these caps and your missiles are inside of there as just these separate orange parts in there so you can have it just firing from the weapon tree itself. Alternatively, removing this section allows you to plug this onto the end of your staff here and then have it basically as this very long powered hammer which is very cool as well. Very Evangelion type weapon, I think. Next up, we've got just another kind of single piece weapon here, which will come out. This one also just sort of like an axe sword type of weapon. I'm not exactly sure what to call that, but that also does look very cool. Really love the design of this one. And then our last but not least little weapon up here is just going to be a standard pistol. Again, a very cool design with a lot of detail in there, but that is just going to be on there like that. And the top part is actually not a weapon, but more of just like a crane arm that you can extend out and then this pulls out there like that. So you could use this for, I don't know, just making some sort of scene or diorama or whatever. That just works like that, very simple. And you do have a number of different like connection pieces. So like if you had two of these sets, you can connect two of the chainsaws together to make like the kind of double chainsaw weapon you may have seen from other artwork and stuff before. You can also attach things onto the back of the arm and also the back of the shoulders with different sets. So that's from a different Evangelion weapon set that came out previously, had those attachment parts for attaching them onto the Ava itself. Unfortunately, those aren't included in this set. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of this stuff in use. For example, I'm just gonna be using the Ava Unit 3 RG kit since I just reviewed it and that's just what I have here with me at the moment. But the hand parts are the same between all of the different Ava kits, so obviously this stuff is gonna be compatible with any of them. All you have to do is just put them in the weapon holding hands that you have included with the kits and it's as easy as that. So some of them you're gonna wanna use the trigger finger hand, some of them you're gonna wanna use just the uh, like knife and or sword weapon holding hand. 
But all in all, guys, this is a very cool set. I've always loved the different weapons from the Evangelion series, and that's one of the things that I, if you guys have watched my past reviews, one of the complaints that I've had with the RG line of Evangelion kits from Bandai is that they don't include more weapons, and especially they all include the exact same weapons. So it's just like the rifle and the progressive knife, and that's it. And while some of these weapons may not have been actually used in the anime at different times, I can't remember, I'm not sure, because they did use a lot of different stuff, but there's a lot of other weapons that exist like in Evangelion artwork and things like that that was just not actually ever used in the series and things like that, so it's really nice to have some more weapon options for your RG Ava kits, and that's kind of the main uh, takeaway for this for me, but even if you don't want to use any of these weapons with your RG Ava kits and you just want to have this as just like a separate thing on its own, like in the if you have a display of RG Ava kits and you just want to have this there like in the background or something, just painting this up just as it is, it's, it's a really awesome kit just on its own just because like I said it has a ton of great detail in there. It looks really cool just with all the weapons, everything all uh, ex expanded out. It's a very cool looking set, so highly recommended for you guys if you're into the RG Ava kits. This is a really great accessory to have, no matter how you end up wanting to use it with your kits. I think it's awesome. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about this set? Which weapon is your favorite? Let me know down in the comment section, and I'm sure you guys will let me know. I'm sure I probably called some of these weapons by some of the wrong terminology or something like that, but again, I just, it's not my expertise. Unfortunately, all the manual is in Chinese, so I, it's not like that was in the manual for me to just read, but anyway. Of course, if you guys are interested in this kit or the RG Ava kits or anything like that, you can check them out at USA Gundam Store. The link and the coupon code for you guys to use will be down in the video description. Thank you so much for checking out the video today. Hope this helps if you guys were interested in this. One other thing that I didn't mention too that I should be sure to mention is that you can actually connect multiples of these together. There's an attachment piece for the base so if you wanted the bases themselves connect to each other if you had multiples of them. So if you had two or three or five or whatever, the bases all connect together. So that's another cool thing if you did end up getting multiple sets. And that does provide you with a lot more weapon options if you do because there's certain weapons that you can combine like I said. So there's a lot of great uh, incentive to actually buy multiples of this kit. So. Thank you guys for watching, thanks for liking the video, commenting, subscribing, I greatly appreciate all of you guys' love. Until next time, I'll see y'all later, have a great day, bye guys.